Hi there, it's been a while since we did a book haul and normally I do that in the summer as part of the reading program, but it's been a crazy winter and we have been inside and cooped up a lot. And I think it's been a record number of snow days or something the kids have had, or it's been really cold. So it's actually been a really tough few months. And this past week, we knew Friday there would be an in-service day so we could actually plan to do something. Because we have, it's five, uh, we have five kids. It's a little bit hard with the little babies and all the different ages. But one thing that seems to just work for everybody is when we sit down and read. So we went to the library and we have a few cherry-picked selections that I wanted to share with you. Um, they are all true stories. They're all nonfiction, biographical tales, and I would say for the ages of six and up or seven and up, depending on what the theme is. But this one is across the board, boys and girls, great for everybody. It's the story of Ida Lewis, the bravest woman in America. The author is Marissa Moss, illustrations by Andrea Uren, I think. But the story is about a family, the dad, a lighthouse keeper, and they eventually are able to have a home built around the lighthouse. And that's where she grows up, which is like a dream come true for her. And her father teaches her everything she needs to know. And Ida makes her first rescue at the age of 16. She pulls these four boys, this little young girl, um, into the boat and saves them. And makes her last rescue, I think, at the age of 63, in her 60s. But she received the American Cross of Honor, the very first woman to receive this. She was friends with President Grant and all sorts of amazing influential uh, men of her day. And this I think would be especially great for young girls. It's really neat. It's got adventure. It's got bravery. It's got strength. It's got obedience. So total thumbs up here. Next is Hanging Off Jefferson's Nose. This one, I will admit, made me cry a little bit. <laughs> it was sweet because it's a story about a father and son and his name is Lincoln. I don't remember his last name here. I should know this. Uh, sculptor Gutson Borglum is the one that was behind Mount Rushmore, the sculptures. And this is his son, Lincoln. And what ends up happening is that um, Guston gets sick. He dies. His son takes over for his father, which is not an easy task. And many think that this isn't going to get done after his dad dies and he pulls it off. So it's um, neat because it also takes you into a part of America that I think is mysterious for a lot of us or the kid, you know, the Black Hills, um, the Lakota tribe, just what the lifestyle was like there. So this is a good one too. Next is Irina's Jars of Secrets. Oh, sorry, I forgot the author. It is Tina Nichols Curry and illustrations by Sally Wern Comfort. Next one is Irina's Jars of Secrets by Marsha Vaughn and illustrated by Ron Mazellan. And this is one of the most read about eras in our family, and that is World War II history. It is Eastern Europe and the conflict, um, you know, between good and evil and all that goes into it. The story is Irina Sendler that is, I'm sure, very familiar if you study history too already, but she was born from a Catholic Polish family and had adversity at a very young age. And what I love about this is I think that it teaches us and our own children that the life we have in the course of all of human history is really exceptional. For most of us to have a warm home in medicine that we have access to and the freedom to walk outside and feel safe. And it goes through her childhood and then of course World War II and how she saves and smuggles um, you know, food and things to help others and then she gets caught and what happens in the aftermath and her influence on time and culture. Look at how cute. Oh my goodness. What a gem she is. She died in 2008 at the age of 98 in Warsaw. And so a little bit more of a mature theme, obviously, but I still love it. It's great. And finally, my favorite, this is mom's pick. It's called I Vivaldi and it is written by Janice Shuffleman and I'm assuming um, illustrated by her husband, Tom Shuffleman. I don't know. Obviously they're related, but this is so neat because, first of all, we have a trip to Italy coming up in a few months. So we're really studying a lot about the Renaissance and, of course, Rome. And this happens to take place in Venice. And Vivaldi, I knew, was a musician. Well, he's a violinist, but I didn't know that he was a priest. And he was known as the Red Priest because he had red hair. And he, this is the 1600s, 1700s, I think, um, was a priest but loved music first. And he, at one point, was ordered to stop saying mass and begin to instruct these orphan girls at an orphanage. These orphan girls later became the most influential and talented and accomplished musicians in all of Italy. 
It is an extraordinary story about human worth and about vocation and faith and following your dreams and the artwork and architecture and culture of the time is so beautifully depicted in these books as well. So I, of course, love it because to me, this has the ingredients of a good book. It just has, you know, inspiration. It has faith. It has all of the things that you want to impart on your children to help them dream. Um, so that's that, Iva Baldi. And I want to mention one more honorable mention that I don't have because we took it back, but it is one of my favorite books that I've read at all recently. And I think it's called Noah Webster and His Words, but it is the true story of Noah Webster putting together and painstakingly creating the very first American dictionary. It's extraordinary. And I think the inscription in the first dictionary, 20 years later after it was done, was he wrote for the intellectual and moral elevation of the people of the United States or something like that. But it is, I don't know if it was United States at the time, but it was um, an, an amazing story. So I would definitely recommend that as well. And I hope that these will help get you through the super long days of winter <laughs> as they have for us. And I'll also put all the information in the link down below so that you can see the titles and where to get these books. Thank you. Have a great day.